we're now at the Enigma questionnaire where I'm going to ask you several questions where you just answer quickly whatever comes to mind. Which five words best describe you? I'm creative. I love people. I love to be among people. And I'm a romantic, yeah. Okay, that's an <laughs> unexpected one. And what would you like to change about yourself? No, nothing. One of the most important things for any human being is to be able to assess himself, to know your strengths and to your weaknesses. And sometimes you have to accept your weaknesses. Sometimes you have to know that you have a weakness and you have to deal with it. And I know that I have certain weaknesses that I have to deal with. Because it's like a football player. If you know that your left leg is not a, your good le leg to shoot with, don't use it, okay? <laughs> if you don't know that, you will keep using your left leg and you keep losing opportunities. You need to continuously assess yourself and you need continuously to be able to evolve and adapt. And I say evolve and adapt more than change in a way. What qualities do you dislike in people? Lying. I hate lying. Not telling the truth is the worst. Yeah. What qualities do you admire in others? I admire resilience. People who have this amazing resilience to achieve something despite all the difficulties. This is one of the most noble you know, capabilities in a person. Yeah. Who are your real life heroes? My wife. Oh. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> if there was a book or movie about your life, what would the title be? I would call it A Man from Alexandria. Really? Yes. I think other people will call it The Comeback Kid. Yes. <laughs> and it was a movie. Is there anybody you would like to play your role? Oh, I'll check with my daughter. <laughs> Who would I like to play my role? Yeah. <laughs> what keeps you up at night? No, I, I am the type of person who thinks a little bit ahead. So I have a lot of thinking goes my mind. But sometimes very silly things, sometimes very important things. But usually it's an extra cup of coffee that keeps me laugh. <laughs> what makes you laugh? Yeah, I, I like to laugh. When I see somebody laughing next to me, I, I just laugh. What is your proudest moment? When I see something that I've worked on happening, yeah. And in today's age, that is even happening through my children. When I see things that I've been dreaming about that they are achieving, you know. These are my proudest moments, yeah. That's beautiful. What do you love most about your life? That I'm living it. That's the most uh, beautiful thing about life, that you can live it with everything in it. You know, you have to live it. With the bad moments, with the good moments, with the people around you, with everything, yeah. I think life is something that you can only live. You have to live. Aside from your business goals, what is left on your personal bucket list? I wake up every morning and I know there is a long list of things that I have to do and I want to do. So it's not one single thing. I say I want to learn this language and that language and I say I want to learn that skill and I want to visit that country. I have always this very active creation of list in my mind, which I come in the evening, I say, no, 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 let's keep quiet. This is nice. <laughs> let's have a quieter life here. What are you most grateful for? My family. And on that question, what advice can you give on choosing the right partner in your life? No, I can give an advice to all the young people, and I sincerely said this, mostly to young men, especially in our culture, this is how it works, right? I told them, you have to take as early as possible the right decision about your partner, because it's important to do it, and it's important to do it as early as possible, and it's important to do it right. No person can claim success in life if you don't have a right marriage and the right partner with you. I know that in today's world, people are deciding to delay decisions and give priority to professional life and so on. Fine, but, and I'm not against that. But I'm saying that's an important part of it because I know and I've gone through many stages in my life, the stability and the balance in your life is very, very important. Yeah. Of course, but I think the, the follow-up question is how do you keep it working for so long? You're also a role model in that. It's adaptation. As I said, <laughs> you have to accept to change everything, right? <laughs> If you are sleeping you know, at 8 o'clock at night and your wife wants to stay until midnight, then adapt, stay until midnight. <laughs> and if you are you know, eating three times a day and she wants to eat only twice a day, that's fine, you adapt. <laughs> so, the, so adaptation is so, fine. So that's, I think, our key point in, from the interview, learning to adapt and be resilient. That's for sure. Yes. Thank you so much. Thank I think you. that was great. Yes.